<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. Um, so I've been, I haven't been on here for a few days, but you know, I started thinking to myself, isn't it funny how I always wear the same stuff? Like when I'm ready to change, like I just throw everything in the laundry and then put it right back on again. Okay, rainbows. Why are they like that? Have you ever questioned it? I think, I think I figured it out. The sky is blue. Why? Because there's a firmament over the earth. The earth is flat, okay? It's got a dome. In the Bible, the first chapter in Genesis, it says God separated uh, the waters above and the waters below with a firmament. There is no space because we was just sucked right out of everything. And when after it rains, right, it's a prism and the, the rainbow follows the firmament. But isn't that amazing? Okay, spaceships. Okay, we all know that cameras that we use nowadays are a lot better than they had in the past. So I have been seeing people taking random shots and filming. There are so many spaceships up there. And uh, I'm just letting you know, just in case... Like when this, all this information gets dumped on you at once, you'll be like, what? No, but like there's good aliens and bad aliens, just like there's good people and bad people. Um, and the, the bad aliens and the reptilians have been dominating earth since the beginning of time. But now there's a shift and the good aliens and the good guys are being the bad guys right on the head. And there's a battle above earth, under earth. The earth is going through a transformation from the age of Pisces into the age of Aquarius, which is love. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Did you know? Okay, a lady, a female, our, menst our, menstru our menstrual cycles are 28 days. So the Romans, to keep all of the humans kind of un unsure, they came up with the calendar that we use to this day. Technically, we should have 13 months, 28 days each, and it works out perfectly. The Mayans did it, and their calendars, you know, they would, um, you know, the stars, and they're not out in space, they're in the firmament, and they twinkle. Uh, the, you know, the, the Mayans had built these, uh, pyramids and at a certain point of the year, that star or the sun or whatever would shine a hole, like through the hole and it would do like, it, it's how did they know? Because if they missed that time, anyway, I don't know. It, there's just so much information and there used to be like giants, like people that were seven, eight, ten feet tall, or even taller. Like I've seen pictures, and I'm like, what? Like, the seriously, you gotta research it. Um, go to Telegram, and I'm watching. Um, oh, what am I watching? Just a sec. I'll go look at it. Anti gravity aircrafts. Anti-gravity aircrafts, spacecrafts, and extraterrestrials. It'll blow your mind. Um, yeah, so giants used to walk on the earth, and so I think that's how they made the pyramids. Or maybe it was alien, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> did you know that bumblebees technically should not be able to fly? Like, their little wings should not be able to 
carry their their mass of their little of their big fat bodies like what what else um yeah it's just and then i went to the bar yesterday to because it was taco tuesday and i thought i'm gonna go have some tacos i love fish tacos and uh and so I'm talking to some of the people at the bar and they're just totally into sports, totally into like oblivious to everything. And I'm thinking when this information all starts to come out, it's going to blow their mind. Like, Kate, one of my first conspiracies was the American dollar bill. If you go take a look at an American dollar bill, go, go do this. There is a pyramid on it right and the top very very top portion of it it's got the all-seeing eye in the like hmm so what in it says annuit corpus something it means you approve our undertaking the new world order of the ages so they've been planning this for a long time to take over the planet and humanity Freemasons and Jesuits and Nimrod, uh, the Bilderberg Group. Like, there's so many secret societies that are now being exposed. BlackRock, Vanguard, they're two of the largest corporations in the world, and you probably have never heard of them. But they have stakes in all, everything, everything around the globe. So they're manipulating, they're, they're talking to their groups, right? And they're, they want total control of humanity. It's insane. Mm. But their efforts have been foiled. Oh, I think I found out. Okay, so John F. Kennedy Jr., he's back. He's going to, he's a vice president. And I believe, okay, and then, so, and I also heard there was two Jesus, is, Jesuses, the one that was crucified at the cross, that wasn't the real Jesus, that was the, the dummy Jesus, the real Jesus continued on with Mary Magdalene, and they traveled and shared peace and what have you. And through her, their, their one of their children, offspring, and throughout, throughout, guess who one of their um, uh, genetic person in lineage of that is Princess Di. Princess Di, and she's coming back too. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's going to be, so if you guys have any, questions or whatever by all means give me a call oh and uh 403-804-3137 again 403-804-3137 if there's anything out there that you you see on the news or it's like this doesn't make sense ask me like because because this is all i do unless i'm busy Unless somebody wants to come and get a haircut or any of the other services that I offer. But other than that, you guys have a great day. Take care. Be good. Be kind. Um, oh, it's a, the world is. Oh, I can't. It's going to be absolutely amazing when this when the dust settles. See you later.